Hey guys, Steve Good here over at the Scroll Saw Workshop. Just wanted to put up another little Corel Draw video for uh, creating patterns uh, for your scroll saw. And what I want to do today is just do a quick little video on how to add a little character to your name patterns or word art patterns. And one of the tools that uh, is really helpful for that is the interactive envelope tool. And I'm just going to take you through a quick demonstration of how that tool works today. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get some text on the screen uh, to give you an example of how I use this tool. Okay, this particular little piece of uh, word art wouldn't be very exciting if we just cut it out like it is. So what I like to do is add a little whimsy to it. And the way I do that is I use this tool right here, the interactive envelope tool. Uh, once you click this tool, and if it's not highlighted right now, if you click and hold your mouse, it'll give you the list of all the tools you have in this section. And the one we want is the interactive envelope tool. So click on that, and you'll notice that it puts these little nodes around the edges of the, whatever you have selected on the screen. And if you select these nodes, uh, you can use your mouse to move the node around, or you can use the keyboard. In this case, I'm going to use the up arrow key on the keyboard to move this node up. And you'll see when I do, it's actually changing the shape of this particular pattern, just to give it a little more whimsy. Now, you can do that with any of the nodes, and, and with word art patterns, some work better than others. Uh, once you get this node moved, you'll see these little arrows, and these arrows allow you to change the direction of the curve you just created. So you can see if I do that, I'm going to get that kind of effect. Um, it just depends on what you're looking for in your pattern, but uh, you have the ability to make some pretty neat changes here. And it's all interactive with the mouse. So as you change it, it'll make these changes. So in this case, um, these changes are probably not what we would want in a piece of clip uh, word art. Maybe something like that might be a little better. Then we can go ahead and select our pick tool select the uh, box or rectangular tool, create a little base for it, draw a lasso around all of it, and use the weld tool up here to weld this together into a pattern. And uh, I think you can see that's a nicer looking pattern for a piece of word art than just to uh, type the words on the screen and let it go. So there's an example of another tool in Corel Draw that you might be able to use to create some of your patterns. Uh, good luck with this, and you can visit my website at http colon backslash backslash scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Please feel free to stop by and download some of the free patterns. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.